lovelies. My name is Emily and this is my channel Painful Clarity. Bella is parked right here so I apologize. Uh, but I posted a, I don't even know what day today is but I posted a day or so ago and I didn't realize that I haven't talked to you guys since my surgery because I actually the Onceable unboxings I actually videotaped before my surgery. Um, Wednesday will be two weeks since, um, my surgery. I'm doing pretty well. Um, I don't really know how I'm doing because I don't know what to expect. I honestly, like when I, I'm going back on Thursday of this week and I need to ask them what they did to me because I really don't have completely the whole idea of what is going on because every other implant I've ever heard of or seen has like a it's like a screw like a metal piece or whatever it is sticking out of it so I don't have anything like that mine's completely closed and I have to get it like opened I don't know but anyways I had surgery in my mouth and it's so funny because I was telling so many people because I'm like, I might not be around, I might not answer texts, I might not this, I might not that. Um, but I, because I, I'm having surgery and everybody's like, oh, what kind of surgery if you don't mind me asking? And I kept thinking like, why would I mind you asking? Like, what kind of surgery do you think I'm having? But I get, people were naming stuff that I guess like people are more like private or don't want to talk about. And I was like, oh, well, I have a YouTube channel where I talk about everything. So it's the least of my worries. But yeah, I had an implant done in my mouth. And the thing that I think probably like came out of it the most was just realizing how really awfully disturbingly sick I was the first surgery where they removed the tooth and because like I was telling my mom like if I'd gotten a really bad migraine and I was like this is a like you need to go to the hospital type migraine I have something to compare it to like I've had migraines and I would know that this is like above and beyond and way worse than any migraine I've ever had and um but with this mouth thing, I have nothing to compare it to. Like, I've had root canals and I've had cavities without any numbing. But other than that, like, I've never had surgery in my mouth. I've never had surgery, period. Um, so there was no point of me being like, like, I knew it was awful and I felt awful and I felt very traumatized. I still feel very traumatized from it. So I knew it was, like, really bad. But after I had this surgery, I realized this was like a paper cut compared to the first surgery and that whole ordeal. Like, I was close to death during that. Like, that's what's come out of this because this one sucked. Like, I thought this was going to be way worse than the first one. And that's why I was like freaking out and preparing and like being so panicked about it. Um, but really it was the first one that was just so bad like I realize now why my mom had taken me to the emergency room and because I was kind of still like a little like I really my family we don't go to the emergency room like I'm like what did I go there for like shots and like a painkiller and anti-nausea like I can take that at home no like I was, I'm really lucky that my surgeon um, added fluids to my IV because it was bad. So this one has been much better. I am taking antibiotics and they make me very ill. Very ill. Um, so that has not been fun. So I think that my actual like surgery that whole thing is good it's just the antibiotics that are making me still feel so sick and I'm just sleeping a bunch 
which is really odd for me. Like, no matter how sick I am, like, I usually don't sleep. But I've been sleeping a bunch. And um, I've been in pretty good spirits. Not today, but the day before. And the day before that, I was really just, like, hit with depression bad. Um, I don't know what that was all about. But I'm feeling better today. And um, I'm trying to think what else is new that I can tell you. I think after my appointment, I'm, on my appointment I'm going to ask them what they did. Um, and then my dad is really pushing for us to drive back to um, North Carolina. And I think the only thing that's worrying me is like if I, because I have to lie down in the car and that's, that puts pressure on my mouth and that does hurt um, still but so I'm a little bit concerned about that but other than that I mean I just think that I'm traumatized from the first trip like from the first 12 hour trip when my face like exploded and I just feel like that's gonna happen and then I'm gonna be in freaking North Carolina where my surgeon isn't and it's gonna be like a whole other ordeal except for everything's going to be 45 minutes away because where I live in North Carolina is kind of away from the main city. Um, and where I live now is like so close to everything. Like the hospital is literally like two minutes away. Um, but my dad really wants to go back and he really wants us all to be together. And my grandparents situation is sorted out a lot better. So my mom is okay to go back as well um I would like to be back because I want to see my friends and everything and all that but I'm just really really nervous because I just don't know so we're all kind of waiting for Thursday to talk to my um I don't know I'll probably talk to my the, my nurse and see you know like what's the normal thing if I and if I'm feeling well like maybe I'm not feeling well and I just don't know I think I would know if I'm like really there was really a problem but um I know I do know I pulled one of my stitches um and then I ended up pulling it completely out because it was driving me nuts um but I think it was just like a surface stitch I don't know it's just what I'm telling myself um uh, but it seems I'll be healing well, so I don't think anything. And I don't want to call my surgeon, so I just ripped it out. But all there's a tons of tons of stitches. Like there's so many stitches. I'm really curious to see what they did to me because I have stitches down here, down here, um, up front, underneath, and then of course in the middle. So. Like, what, why do I have stitches here? Like, did they come at, like, different angles and stuff? Like, I don't know. I have no idea. So, I was, like, really surprised when I pulled up and I had stitches here. Like, pretty much I have stitches from, like, here to here. So, I don't know. But it was way better than the first one. Thank you guys so much for all of your comments and suggestions. I have just been watching so many TV shows so many movies down in the comments down below if there is like a show or something you're thinking about watching but you're like oh do i really want to get into it and then have it be stupid and not be a waste of my life ask me because chances are i have watched it or started to watch it or if it's a movie probably 95 percent sure i've watched it so in the comments down below Ask me about a movie or TV show you're thinking about watching and I will give you my little mini review on it because I really appreciate your guys' comments. I've been trying to get back to them because um, I just love reading them and whatnot. But if I read them and then don't comment back, I forget. So I've been trying to just read them when I have the energy to comment back. So I really want that. So I've been really brightening my day. So if there's anything or if there's something new that you have been watching always I need suggestions always so um I love you guys I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you're having a pain free stress free day I'm sending out x double o's and bye